Corinthian Rishon, 1 Corinthians 14. Follow after love and desire spiritual gifts, but rather that ye may prophesy. For he that speaks in an unknown tongue speaks not unto men, but unto Yahweh. For no man understands him. Albeit in the Ruach he speaks mysteries. But he that prophesies speaks unto men to edification and exhortation and comfort. He that speaks in an unknown tongue edifies himself, but he that prophesies edifies the called-out assembly. I would that ye all spoke with tongues, but rather that ye prophesied. For greater is he that prophesies than he that speaks with tongues, except he interpret, that the called-out assembly may receive edifying. Now, brethren, if I come unto you speaking with tongues, what shall I profit you, except I shall speak to you either by revelation, or by knowledge, or by prophesying, or by doctrine? And even things without life giving sound, whether pipe or kithara, except they give a distinction in the sounds, how shall it be known what is piped or harped? For if the shofar give an uncertain sound, who shall prepare himself to the battle? So likewise ye, except ye utter by the tongue words easy to be understood, how shall it be known what is spoken? For ye shall speak into the air. There are, it may be, so many kinds of voices in the world, and none of them is without significant, rather, signification. Therefore, if I know not the meaning of the voice, I shall be unto him that speaks a barbarian, and he that speaks shall be a barbarian unto me. Even so, ye, for as much as ye are zealous of spiritual gifts, seek that ye may excel to the edifying of the called-out assembly. Wherefore, let him that speaks in an unknown tongue pray that he may interpret. For if I pray in an unknown tongue, my ruach prays, but my understanding is unfruitful. What is it then? I will pray with the Ruach, and I will pray with the understanding also. I will sing with the Ruach, and I will sing with the understanding also. Else when you shall bless with the Ruach, how shall he that occupies the room of the unlearned say Amen at your giving of thanks, seeing he understands not what you say? For you truly give thanks well, but the other is not edified. I thank my Yah, I speak with tongues more than ye all. Yet in the assembly I had rather speak five words with my understanding, that by my voice I might teach others also, than ten thousand words in an unknown tongue. Brethren, be not children in understanding, Howbeit in malice be ye children, but in understanding be men. In the Torah it is written, With other tongues and other lips will I speak unto this people, and yet for all that will they not hear me, says Yahweh. Wherefore tongues are for a sign, not to them that believe, but to them that believe not, but Prophesying serves not for them that believe not, but for them which believe. If therefore the whole assembly comes together into one place, and all speak with tongues, and there come in those that are unlearned, or unbelievers, will they not say that ye are mad? But if all prophesy, and there come in one that believes not, or one unlearned, he is convinced of all, he is judged of all. 
and thus are the secrets of his heart made manifest. And so falling down on his face, he will worship Yah, and report that the Yahweh of truth is in you. How is it then, brethren, when ye come together? Every one of you has a psalm, a doctrine, has a tongue, has a revelation, has an interpretation. Let all things be done unto edifying. If any man speak in an unknown tongue, let it be by two, or at the most by three, and that by course, and let one interpret. But if there be no interpreter, let him keep silence in the assembly, and let him speak to himself and to Yahweh. Let the prophets speak two or three, and let the other judge. If anything be revealed to another that sits by, let the first hold his peace. For ye may all prophesy one by one, that all may learn, and all may be comforted. And the Ruachoth of the prophets are subject to the prophets. For Yah is not the author of confusion, but of peace, as in all assemblies of the Kodashim. Let your women keep silence in the called-out assemblies, for it is not permitted unto them to speak, but they are commanded to be in obedience, as also says the Torah, and if they will learn anything, let them ask their men at home. For it is a shame for women to speak in the assembly. What? Came the word of Yahweh out from you? Or came it unto you only? If any man think himself to be a prophet or spiritual, let him acknowledge eth that the things that I write unto you are the commandments of Yahweh. But if any man be ignorant, let him be ignorant. Wherefore, brethren, covet to prophesy, and forbid not to speak with tongues. Let all things be done decently and in order. <laughs>